We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. The quote here from our Constitution clearly states, We the people. Today's program is titled, The Elections, How Do We End Corporate Rule? The cover story from the July 2016 edition of the People's Tribune newspaper, a monthly published in Chicago. This is PTR, People's Tribune Radio. Please listen. As we approach the 2016 presidential election, America is at a critical moment in history. Advanced technology and globalization continue to wipe out millions of jobs permanently. Wages for many, still working, are driven down to starvation levels. Millions are homeless. Nearly 50 million people go hungry sometime each month. 33 million have no health insurance. About half our population lives in poverty. The economic crisis and destruction of human lives, rooted in labor-replacing technology, is destabilizing the country. The existing system can no longer provide basic necessities, such as food, clothing, shelter, health care, or education, to millions whose labor is no longer needed. These unneeded workers are a threat to the rule of corporate billionaires, since their needs can only be met by a completely different society where necessities are distributed by need, not profit. This threat has pushed the country toward an open dictatorship of the corporations. The billionaires cannot allow democracy under these conditions. The drive toward dictatorship takes various forms replacing local elected officials with state-appointed emergency managers. Another of these forms is eliminating the legal rights in the name of fighting terrorism or the growing police violence, the imprisonment of millions, and the attack on voting rights, just to name a few. The government is even targeting activists by bringing false charges against them or their children. Some workers have been misled into seeing Trump as representing the hope of jobs coming back, but his campaign is actually helping to build a fascist social movement. Others, clinging to the mainstream Democratic Party, have turned to Clinton. Many have turned to the Green Party or the Sanders campaign. As things have evolved, a large section of the working class has used the Sanders campaign as a vehicle to fight for their demands for food, housing, health care, education, and more. The rising demand that the government be taken away from billionaires and that its power be used to resolve the people's problems and open the discussion of socialism prompted by the Sanders campaign are all important factors. These open the way for a broader discussion about what it will take to reorganize our society in the interests of humanity. While there is no question that Trump must be defeated, the reality is that the Democratic and Republican parties are twin parties of the corporations. At this point, it looks likely that the next president will either be a Democrat or Republican. Regardless, they will toe the corporate line. This means more power, more poverty, and the further elimination of democracy. The significance of this election lies in the unprecedented nature of our times, and that a section of the working class has taken a step, especially through the Sanders campaign, toward declaring its political independence of the ruling parties. The effort to push this independence forward must continue now and after the election. Revolutionaries can advance this process by putting forward the demand that the government guarantee the basic needs of the people. This will move the people toward building their own party, 
where we can make a real fight for a society where the abundance we produce can guarantee peace and prosperity for all of us in a country that is of, by, and for the people. Contact the People's Tribune at www.peoplestribune.org or call 800-691-6888. The only solution to our problems is a cooperative society where the needs of all the people are met. Send your stories to the People's Tribune. Its pages are open to you. Find out how people are fighting forward with a vision of a new society. Subscribe to the People's Tribune and order copies to share with others. Donate at peoplestribune.org. We need your support to continue telling the truth.